guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. I'm going to tie another Reactor Push style pattern. The hook and the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 10. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the Uni Thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in, get my thread started, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. The reason for that, we'll just take some sort of measurement because we've lots going on up here at the top. I'm just going to bring my thread down past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag of thread. The tail on the fly is the Glow Bright Floss number 10. Just a yellow shade. I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop. And then take a further three turns going down the shank of the hook. Come on and trim that the length of the body. I'm just going to come in and trim the tail. Roughly the same length. The rib is a, a piece off here is a hot orange ultra wire. So I'm just going to catch that in and then we'll just advance our thread forward, just tying in the cut ends of the blue right floss and your rib. Nice and tight, and then we're going to bring our thread back in open turns because the body's going to be dubbed. But the main thing are is guys you want to tie in the get a good foundation down um because you want the fly to last you, you don't want it to fall to pieces after a fish now the body is going to be the gold light bright or you could use a, a gold tinsel for the body i don't want to put it on too tight because i want it to sit out into the wee dressing. So I'm just going to work this up the body. The thing wants to go forward to sweep it back. Bring your thread up in front. The body hackle. I'm just going to use an orange uh, cock saddle hackle. So I've already had a couple of flies out of this one. Actually this is the, the fifth fly that I've had out of this one hackle. So I'm just going to trim that away and then we're looking two turns at the shoulder of the fly and then three to four turns down the body. Follow this around with your wire. Looking four turns of the hot orange wire up the body. Sweep anything that wants to go forward back. Follow that around with your thread. Nice tight turns now. And then you can bend and break away the wire. You can break away the tip of the hackle at the back. Then I'm just going to come in with the Velcro. And just brush out some of the dubbing. And the tip didn't break away cleanly. So just take that away. Then I'm just going to stroke everything back here. And bring my thread back up tight against the body haggle. The next haggle, I'm looking to, this is just a, what's left of a Chinese, or a golden pheasant, sorry. Um, I'm looking the, the smaller rump, these orange, these orange rump fellers. Right, I'll just pick one out here. There's one there. Right, you'll be lucky. If you're using these wee fellers, you maybe get a turn, turn and a half. Just stroke the, the fibers back just to create that Christmas tree type shape. And you can just offer this up to the hook. Run with a couple of turns, I'm going to fold the tip back. Just nice and tight. Right, come in and locate the tip, break that away. And then just do one turn in front of the other. Like I say, you'll be lucky if you get two turns out of this wee one here. Just wasn't happy with the way it was laying onto the hook, so just come back. Just using up the full haggle there. Follow this around with my thread. Nice tight turns in. Come in and trim away the stem. Okay. I'll just open this out a wee bit. Just to let you see it. Now these flies may be foreign 
there's some people who have maybe just tuned in to the, the wee videos that I do for YouTube. But what you're going to do is you want to strip these through a big wave. So today, I was, out, or I was down at Lock Iron today and big rollers with the, the heavy winds. But you're going to be stripping that through the wave. So if you're tuning in from Alexa Canada and stuff, they seem a wee bit strange. But these flies would work too on your lakes, I think. But you need a, a good wave. Now I'm going to put a wing on. I'm just going to use some uh, deer hair dyed black. You could use a bronze, some bronze mallard. And that would be sticking with the, the theme of the, the dunk held. Now I'm just going to pop it into the hair stagger. Just going to give us a rattle. of lined up. Just take it out of the stacker and you can have the wing as long as short as you like. It's up to you. I'm just going to offer the wing up coming into the tail. So I'm just going to come in, hold the wing, come around with a pinching loop. That's one turn. And take it further between five and six. That'll catch everything in. Just take a hold of your cut ends, trim those away. Anything that wants to go forward, just stroke it back, bring your thread down over the cut ends and back up. Just nice and tight with the thread turns here. Now, we're looking ground. I'm going to put a strong flash into the wing and I'm going to use this is just the orange. Micro flash to there. So I'm just looking a strand either side, really. A couple of turns. Hold this bit back on the your side. Hold the two bits of flash. Take a further two or three turns. I'll catch everything in. Trim that to the length that you like. Now if you don't like flash, uh, just don't put it in. Now the front tackle. You can use a straight through blue. I'm just going to use a, a wedding lace wing. Dyed blue. So this is just a hand hackle as well. So we're just going to stroke back the fibres. Just to reveal the tip. Now we've limited space because we want to put on goose bats as well. So the best thing to do is stroke back the fibres to reveal your tip. Bring us closer to that camera. And then come in. And just trim the tip just to leave you that wee tag end to tie in. Right, just tie that in nice and tight. We'll come back down to the eye. Just want the level bit of thread here at the same time. And then we're just going to take two turns of the lace wing haggle. Will be plenty. Another one in here, just to there. Follow this around with your thread. A couple of tight turns in. Come in and trim away the stem. Sweep everything back that wants to go forward to the eye. Bring your thread from the front back up. Now, you can finish the wee flat that you don't have to put the goose bats in, but these are just goose bats that have been dyed a fluorescent yellow. So we're just going to take two. I'm just going to get them lined up. What's the way I would do with jungle cat, one of the tan salmon flies? Get them spaced out a bit. Offer these up to the length that you want. Hold them on the sides. Just going to come around with now. These are just tight turns. I'm being tight with it here, just to see what way we're, just to see what way we're sitting. And I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. This is where a good pair of sharp scissors comes in handy. So just take away the excess. Now see at this point, just come back and hold everything. Bring your thread back down to the eye. Of the hook. 
and just build up your head. Don't be shy of the head. Then just come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish. Put your thread nice and tight, come in, trim away your hand thread. Now, we'll get a wee look at the fly. It's got everything you would want to see in a lock style fly. Now, just to finish off, I'm just going to put on a wee coat of our, uh, super glue sorry, first, just onto the head. Right the whole way right round. Don't want this going into your haggle. Just ruin the fly on you. And there you go guys. Now it's just very much in the same colour combination as the, the donkey or the leg of the body, the tail being yellow. Um, you can leave out the wing if you don't want to put in the deer hair. Now like I say these seem foreign to people but you're going to be basically stripping these and fight my figure of eating them through a, 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 a decent wave on the lock. Um, the other thing I would say guys, as I've said this to you before, see once you can tie these, these multi-haggled Irish lock style flies, you'll be able to tie anything, honestly. Um, just sit down and practice those. So hopefully you can tie a few of those up, as always. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish, is the main thing. Um, and as, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. And until next time, please stay safe and take lanes, guys.